Let's write a C program to print all the prime numbers between 1 and 300. We need to use nested for loop, break and continue statement. Okay. So what is a prime number? Prime number is a natural number greater than 1 which has no positive divisors other than 1 and itself. So in our program we need to print all the prime numbers between 1 and 300. Also note that 1 is neither prime number nor a composite number. So we need to even handle that in our program. So outer for loop selects number from 1 to 300. So num is equal to 1 and this for loop iterates until num is less than or equal to 300 okay so consider a random number 41 which is a prime number by the way we need to determine if 41 is prime or not so we write another for loop that is nested for loop and and initialize i to 2 and iterate this until i is less than 41 that is until i is equal to 40 so we write the condition if num modulo division i is equal to 0 in that condition that selected number is a is not a prime number if num modulo division i is not equal to 0 then that number is a prime number okay let me generalize this for loop now the selected number is present inside variable num so we need to modulo divide that from 2 to num minus 1 times okay so to reduce this number of iteration of this inner for loop we can even check i is less than or equal to num divided by 2 or else i is less than or equal to square root of selected number this gives right results okay so let's get started with our c program i'll take couple of variables num count i and prime okay so i'll display a message prime numbers between 1 to 300 are so let me write outer for loop for num is equal to 1 and num less than or equal to 300 and num plus plus so this for loop iterates from 1 to 300 let me show the uh, output that is value present inside num for each iteration of this for loop so it will be it will print 1 to 300 okay so this for loop iterates 300 times for each iteration num value increments by 1 so 1 to 300 okay that's clear so now let me write let me assign 1 to this variable prime so we assume that the selected number which is present inside variable num is a prime number so prime is equal to 1 now internal inner for loop i is equal to 2 i is less than num that is selected num i plus plus okay so prime is 1 now inside inner for loop we check if the selected number is actually prime or not so inner for loop iterates from 2 to uh, num minus 1 or i until i is less than num so let me correct this first i is equal to 2 and i is less than num or else i is less than or equal to num minus 1 okay so inside inner for loop we check if num modulo division i is equal to 0 in that case then selected number which is present in variable num is not a prime number so we assign 0 to prime and break out of that loop so outside the inner for loop or inside the outer for loop we check if prime is equal to 1 in that case we output that number which is present inside variable num that's it let me compile and execute it first so these are the prime numbers between 1 and 300 okay so now let me reduce the number of iteration of this iterations of this inner for loop so count is equal to selected number divided by 2 so inner for loop will iterate until i is less than or equal to count so this should give right results too okay as you can see it's giving right results still we can optimize this and reduce the number of iterations of this inner for loop so i'll take math.h header file 
using sqrt built in method i'll find square root of the selected number and store it inside the variable count so let me compile and execute this so this also gives the right results remember one is neither prime nor composite number so we need to handle that in our program so let me show you once again so here we have one so let me remove that or else let me show appropriate message so if num is equal to one i'll simply display a message that number is not a prime neither prime nor pr let me tell that number one is neither prime nor composite so this message will be appropriate so after showing this message i'll write continue keyword here that means it will skip everything after the continue and passes the control to the next iteration of this for loop okay so let us compile and run our program okay number one is neither prime nor composite after that from two to three hundred or oh, whatever prime numbers are there it has been displayed on your computer screen okay please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you